Om Tat Sat. Welcome to Gyan Bhakti. We are currently exploring the scripture Mysticism of Srimad Bhagavatam. Commentary is by my Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj, narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. We are currently studying in uh, each satsanga the various avatars of Lord Vishnu. Today we are studying about Lord Parshurama. Parshurama, Rama who has an axe as his weapon, that is Parshu and Rama is the name, was a powerful personality of his time and he was considered a part incarnation of Lord Vishnu. His mission was to bring about harmony and order by forceful means. He was born during a time when Rajasik Kshatriya kings, kings who had developed immense pride and conceit, predominated on the earth. With his crude expression of divine power, Parshurama eliminated an amazing number of those kings, not once, but over and over again, mowing them down like weeds that eventually destroy the garden. So the mystical meaning, Parshurama employed an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth philosophy, which he used to violently counteract the violence practiced by the Kshatriya kings of his time. In an ideal society that is moving towards harmony, Brahmins, saintly people who have philosophical insight should be the leaders. Kshatriyas, which are political Politicians, soldiers, warriors should always submit to Brahmanas. Kshatriyas have a wonderful place in society, but they must be guided by Sattva, which is purity of mind. If they are guided by their own whims, they will become demoniac. When saintly insight predominates, there will be prosperity, harmony and peace in the world. When force and might, which is Kshatriya, or money and wealth, Vaishya, predominates, there will be degradation. Parshuram's repeated slaying of the Kshatriya implies mystically that an aspirant should tirelessly strive to destroy and sublimate the impure impressions that are based on Rajas, impressions of egoism, externalization and multiplicity as often as necessary. Each time your mind is agitated or overcome by selfishness, greed, hate, jealousy, rajas is at work. Try to allow the spiritual force of Parashurama's acts within us to mow down those weeds of rajas. They will grow again and again and we must mow them down again and again. If we keep them under control, we will have a beautiful lawn flourishing within our mind. By the time Lord Vishnu reincarnated or incarnated as Rama, the type of power that manifested in Parshurama was no longer needed. What was needed was a higher movement of the spirit, fighting evil not by brute force but with intelligence and goodness. This more sublime movement is symbolized by the mission of Rama Avatara. In the evolution of an aspirant, Parshurama symbolizes a forceful approach to disciplining the mind and senses, while Rama symbolizes a more subtle and persuasive approach. Both approaches are necessary on the spiritual path, and an aspirant must develop a sensitive way of assessing which is more appropriate at any given moment. In general, however, the more one advances, the more subtle is his handling of the inner obstacles to his spiritual advancement. So let us move on to the incarnation of Lord Rama. And we have just covered the mysticism of Ramayana. So it is a very beautiful recap, a summary of what we have just studied over a few months. So, when the earth was burdened by the increase of unrighteousness and the decline of virtue, Lord Vishnu incarnated in the form of the four sons of King Dashratha, the ruler of Ayodhya. Dashratha had three wives, Queen Kaushalya gave birth to Rama, who was the eldest, Kaikai gave birth to Bharata, and Sumitra gave birth to the twins, Lakshmana and Shatrughana. When Rama reached the young age of 16, he received the teachings of Vedanta from sage Vashishta, thereby enabling him to discover the innate divine nature. And we cover this each Friday in our satsanga um, on Facebook. Um, we do it at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. 
and we cover this beautiful scripture yoga vashishtha about lord rama's enlightenment it is also called maharamayana for those of you who may be interested in learning more <laughs> but this is how lord rama had attained um, his uh, self realization under his guru then rama accompanied by his brother lakshmana assisted the performance of a sacrifice by sage vishwamitra and in so doing had to destroy many terrible demons after accomplishing the amazing feat of breaking shiva's bow in the marriage contest rama was wedded to sita the daughter of king janaka noticing his own advancing age rama's father king dashratha wanted to declare rama as his heir apparent but kaikai one of king's wives had other plans she had previously secured two boons from the king and now used them to send rama away in the forest for 14 years her hope was that bharata her son through becoming the king would become the ruler of ayodhya rama therefore accompanied by his wife sita and his younger brother lakshmana went to live in the forest later bharata who was not aware of what his treacherous mother had done at the time because of his absence came to the forest to persuade rama to return and rule the kingdom rama however however was firm in keeping the words of his father they say ragukul reet sada chali aayi pran jaye par vachan na jaye which means he followed the uh, full tradition and the father his father dashrath kept the word kept his word and gave the two boons although he died after that and rama also was an ideal son so he followed his father's orders and um, made sure that everything according to dharma or ethical values was um, followed in proper order bharata therefore returned to ayodhya installed rama's sandals on the throne and began to rule the kingdom as rama's servant so each character of uh, uh, ramayana was pure with full of uh, lots of beautiful lessons for all of us while living a life of austerity in the forest rama brought about the disfigurement of sharupnaka the demoniac sister of the ten-headed demon king ravana as well as the death of a huge number of their relatives angered by this ravana kidnapped sita whom he longed to have his wife and brought her back to lanka his capital city in order to destroy ravana and rescue sita rama and lakshmana befriended a vast army of monkeys and bears through the instrumentality of hanuman ji and his monkey king sugriva among the monkeys hanuman ji became the closest and dearest servant of lord rama rama and his army built a bridge consisting of mountainous rocks across the ocean when they reached lanka vibhishana rama's ravana's bro younger brother joined rama and assisted him in his various endeavors then after a terrible battle rama with the aid of his brother lakshmana his valiant devotee hanuman ji sugriva and the army of monkeys and bears was able to destroy ravana and ravana's other brother kumbhakarna Sita ji was reunited reunited with Rama and the gods praised Rama for ridding the earth of the burden of those terrible demons the kingdom of lanka was given to vibhishana who was um, satva or purity to rule it ethically properly by this time the 14 years were over over rama then returned in an aerial car to ayodhya with sita and lakshmana there rama was coronated king and he ruled for a long long time during which his people enjoyed immense peace bliss and prosperity when circumstances required that sita leave ayodhya she went in exile to the ashram of sage valmiki where she gave birth to two boys sons love and kush eventually she entrusted her sons to the care of the sage and entered into an opening in the earth while meditating upon rama after many thousands of years rama decided to terminate his physical existence and he ascended to the heavenly world where he eternally abides as the self in all so we will cover the mystical meaning of the 
अवतार ऑफ लॉर्ड लॉर्ड रामा इन टुमोरो सत्संग दिस इज स्वामी निखेलानंदा ओम तत्सत